Hi everybody and welcome to another quick skills tutorial. My name is Dawn and I'm with nerdygirlcreative.com and this week I'm going to show you how we can add textures and patterns to our typography quickly and easily using the clipping mask feature in Adobe Photoshop. All right, let's get started. So we're going to be working in a new document and it's about a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and hit T on my keyboard so we can go ahead and type out our typography. I'm just going to stick with the word typography. So there we go. And I am working in the font King Basil Light. I enjoy this font just because it has a very nice handwritten feel to it. It's quite bouncy. And the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to add watercolor texture to your typography. Um, this is a really fun and popular way of add, adding a little bit of spice to your typography. And I see it all the time on Instagram, everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna use this watercolor texture here. And it is a soft watercolor texture that you can actually find in my watercolor textures pack over at nerdygirlcreative.com. And we're gonna be working with number 12. It's this very nice uh, reddish pink to a purple color. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit place. And as you can see, it fits it to the document. So I'm just gonna come out a little bit. I'm going to resize the texture just to make it a bit larger. I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. I'm gonna kind of move it down just a little bit. And to create a clipping mask, it's extremely easy. So all you have to do is come over to the Slayer you're gonna right click it and as you can see, it brings up this um, options panel here that have all the different things you can do. And the one we're going to use is create clipping mask. And boom, there you go, watercolor texture. Um, and what's nice is that you can move, this is still movable, so you can move the, the texture around until you find an area that you really like. I really like it right there where it's kind of got the dark to light. You can kind of see both colors a little bit. And there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this layer off. And the next thing I'm gonna show you is uh, how to add glitter. So we're gonna come up here to layer. And this actually is a pattern that um, is also in the pack, it is in my um, mega glitter extravaganza pack here. And we're gonna go ahead and go to pattern. Gonna go ahead and hit okay. And we're gonna go ahead down here and choose pattern. I am going to choose hot pants, which is this very nice pink. I'm going to scale it down to uh, about, oh, that's too big, about 80. I'm gonna scale it down to about 50. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're going to right click it and then create clipping mask. And there you have it. Fancy, fancy glitter. And since it's a pattern, you see how I can pull it basically anywhere. Um, and that's because it is seamless and you can pull it and pull it and move it around everywhere you want. All right, gonna go ahead and turn that off. And finally, I'm going to show you how we can add um, a nice JPEG pattern to our typography. I found this pattern, I believe, on creativemarket.com, and I believe I got it for free on one of their, you know, freebie Mondays that they have. You get six free, you know, goodies every week, <laughs> and I found this one. It's got a couple different variations in it, but I really liked the, the beige version of it. It's got some really cute um, flowers and uh, birds going on in here. So I'm going to go ahead and place it and then I'm going to hit OK. So we're going to do exactly the same thing and create the clipping mask. And as you can see, this pattern actually has quite a bit of beige in it. Um, it'd probably be a little bit easier to see if I'd used one of the darker versions of this. I think there's a blue version as well um, and maybe a, in it a completely black one that has a black background, but I really liked this one. And so I'm going to actually create um, a black rectangle behind it so that you can see it just a little bit more and also give it a little bit something extra a little bit of diversity here what we got going on so you're going to want to create your rectangle and then you want to make sure that it is below your typography so that you can see it and then there you have it nice pretty fun spring summer pattern to uh to jazz up everything all right 
And uh, that's all I have for you this week. Uh, Don't forget to go over to nerdygirlcreative.com and grab some freebies, check out some more tutorials. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to these videos. Um, Don't forget to uh, support this channel by actually going over to the creative market link below in the description. And you can get these freebies as well. Every week there's six new ones. Um, All right. So you guys go out there and create something amazing.